All right, guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you eight of the most satisfying things you will ever see in Fortnite. That is right, guys. We're going to be doing some experiments here, even busting some myths in the game. And there is some crazy stuff that you need to see. Like they get better as they go on, especially the last one is crazy. Also, let me know if you enjoy these videos. I want to do some like boss videos, like boss meeting videos, other myth type videos. So subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on and let me know if you want to see more of those. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it here. All right, let's go ahead and hop into it here. Oh, he dropped his hula hoop. That's sad. Leave a like down below to make Midas feel better. But yeah, time to hop into the creative lab we've got here to show you some crazy satisfying things you can do. Now, wait a second. What is this right here? Is this a, a chest? Where did that come from? So if we go ahead and search that, I guess. Oh my gosh. Look at all those infinity infinity blades. <laughs> so that in and of itself is pretty satisfying. Like 15 infinity blades out of one chest and look at the glow that creates. That is insane. Well, wait a second. I wonder if there are any other chests around. There's a snowman over there. That's kind of funny, but uh yeah. Oh, wait a second. Is that like some treasure? We got to check this out right here. So if we open this, what is inside of it? Oh my gosh. A bunch of bandage bazookas. That's insane. Well, wait a second. That gives me a bit of an idea. So if we go into creative and go over to like, I don't know, let's put a bunch of golden scars into a chest. Just add as many of those as we can. We can go ahead and create a chest and that will have, especially if we duplicate them, if we open up one of them, it'll pop out 15 golden scars. Oh my gosh. So that in and of itself is satisfying, but I have an idea right here. So basically if we duplicate the chest and then place it like right here and go up, we should be able to just spam a bunch of chests and spawn them. Oh my gosh, I'm just putting as many of these down as I can. And oh my goodness, look at that. So that in and of itself is incredibly satisfying. Just look at the way that, oh my gosh, have you ever seen something like that? That is insane. What? That looks so amazing. But anyways, my main idea with this is what if we break all of those at once? Like what happens if we go and find here? Here it is, the junk rift. If we toss this down right here, it should break every single one of these chests in one single go. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. Is that like, that doesn't look like that many scars, though. So what if we break this in the center? Come on, break that. Does that look like the amount of scars that should be in that many chests? I don't think so, which is a bit weird. What happens if we spawn like even more and try to do it again here? Like uh, place that right there. You know what? I'm just going to spread them out this time. I mean, might as well. Good enough. <laughs> and then toss another junk rift right in the center. What is going to happen? Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it does respawn only a certain amount of golden scars. Either way, though, that's still so many of them. Okay, well, let's explore the junk rifts a little bit more. Like these things right here. Let's pick them all up. Because we can destroy, like, again, giant towers of these. I guess it's... Yeah, this should work, actually. And then we gotta scroll through and find something interesting we can break. I know, since it's about the holidays, let's use the snowman. So if we fly up like this all the way up here, we can just keep on spawning the snowman snowmen so that they fall down and should create a tower. Now this in and of itself does take a little bit of time. Oh, and we made it all the way up here, but look at that. As I said, it makes this super satisfying like perfect tower of snowmen. Look at how perfectly that goes up into the air. Just amazing. However, we got to see what happens if we put a junk rift all the way at the top of it. We can't put it at the bottom or else it'll spawn all weird, but if we do throw one right at the top it should go all the way through every single one look at that it's spinning as well perfectly to the bottom that was amazing that looked even better than i expected it to let's go all right well let's do one more of those before we move on to the next thing i feel like this could be kind of interesting a fire or the fire pit whatever you call it because if you stack them up they turn into pretty flat yeah that'll look really cool if we do that and if we select all of them it should be able to yeah pick them all up at once. <laughs> look at this. Look at this tower of campfires. It does not even look like campfires anymore. Oh my gosh, we're inside of the campfire. That is crazy. All right, where is our our junk rift? 
perfect. Throw it right on top, back up a little bit, and there we go. Perfectly breaking through every single one. That is so amazing. I love the junk rifts. They work so well for this stuff. All right, well, that kind of gets me thinking here. Since we have all of these different prefabs that Fortnite has added, there's some interesting things you can do with them. Like, for example, if we scroll through and find... I want the windmill. Where's the windmill? Oh, well, this will be fine right here. If we grab this, put it up here, and then... Wait, no. <laughs> we dropped it by accident. He drops to be off. If we put it, like, right here, then we can continue to rotate... Oh, nope, that's not how it works. If we place it right here and continue to rotate it, we can make some interesting, like, patterns. So just keep going until we get all the way around 360 degrees, just like so, and we've created this little pattern. That's pretty sick. Well, wait a second. What happens if we... Can we select every single one of these, copy it, and then what happens if we rotate this? Put it like here, how about... Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at that, guys. Oh, and look at the cursor. It's like a clock going around the inside. That looks so awesome. That is pretty satisfying in and of itself. Just a perfect circle of all of these different windmills. That is insane. Look at all of those. It's like a wind turbine or something. I don't know. All right, let's do that with like one more thing. What's an interesting thing we could make a very intriguing circle out of? Actually, I'm curious. What happens if we use like a tree? So go ahead and place them in a circle. This is the easy part right here. Doing the initial circle. You can see it moving up towards the left right there. There's our final one for the initial one. Oh my gosh. That's amazing in and of itself. Now let's go at... Oh shoot, I started to delete them. There we go. Now we need to go ahead and... Oh my gosh, I did it again. Select. Oh my gosh. Select all of these. And then if you turn off grid snap, you can rotate them in an even more perfect way. Just like that. Oh my gosh. That is even more satisfying than I expected it to be. It looks so perfect. It doesn't even look like trees anymore. Look at the center of it. It is so flawless. This. Look at that ring. That is perfect. That looks so cool. Wow, that turned out even better than I thought it would. Let's go. Okay, but next up, I was just messing around with this a little bit. It is a bumper that is set to a knockback of mega high. Now, that in and of itself is super satisfying because you can fly all the way across, but it's not quite satisfying. So, I've set up these rings and I'm trying to make it so we can perfectly fly through a bunch of rings just barely. So, at the moment, it's a little bit tough to set up. We're getting there though. <laughs> that was completely on accident, but that in and of itself <laughs> worked out really well. It just perfectly landed right here. That's kind of insane. Not what we meant to do, though, so we gotta get this working. It's tough, though, to get it working perfectly. All right, guys, it is ready, and I added a little bit of a surprise at the end. That's what makes this whole entire thing one of the most satisfying things you can ever witness in Fortnite. Are you guys ready? Three two, one, jump into the chute, drop on down, fly through the rings perfectly without touching a single one, and then boom, right at the end, land on top of this tiny little block perfectly, absolutely perfectly. So there you guys have it. That is the final of the satisfying things I have for you in today's video. Be sure to comment down below if you want to see me make more of these. There's definitely a lot more ideas we can do. And also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for those. Oh, and you can check out some of my previous videos on the screen right now. But again, Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time.